uh, we are from group seven, next 2020 Poetry in Motion. So today we have a group discussion for. So shall we start with uh, our self-introduction? So Ayman, can you start with yourself? Hi, my name is Muhammad Ayman Akmal bin Murad and my matching number is 199330. Okay, my name is Chua Tiong Wan and my metric number is 195877. Hi, my name is Tan Ling. My metric number is 199201. Hi, my name is Han and my metric number is 196472. Uh, hello, my name is Tan Hong and my metric number is 197336. Hi, my name is Tan Jin Yu and my metric number is 198223. So, Raison, start with your interruption. Hi, my name is Muhammad Rizal. We have me, and my metric number is 199477. Uh, hi, my name is Osun Kai, and my metric number is 196824. Hi, I'm Chong Wan Sing, and my metric number is 198573. Hi, my name is Tan Ying Sing, metric number 196817. Hello, my name is Tan Zian, my metric number is 198368. My name is Ong Yuan, my metric number is 198583. Okay, I guess that this is it. So, so later we're going to discuss and compare the four poems that we present during our last discussions. So before we proceed to our proceed to choose the best poem, I, re I require each representative for the mini group to present their poem in a summary form. So should the group one start with their best poem? Okay, um, so the poem shared by mini group one is titled When I Die, I Want Your Hands on My Eyes by Pavel Neruda, dedicated to his beloved wife. So this poem uh, portrays a mixed emotion of love and sorrow between a husband and wife. The speaker hopes that his wife would remember him after his death, but he also wishes that she could continue living her life merrily without his company. Thank you, group one. So we proceed to, to group. Hello, I will summarize the poem, Love After Love. Uh, the idea behind the poem is to seek love in oneself and looking for it in the others. A person may have different opinions and beliefs, but until you look inside yourself and love yourself, nothing will look perfect to you. The poet has tried to relate self-realization as the path towards God-realization. The word stranger was, has been used to stress upon the fact that heartbreak can leave a person shaped and deprived of self-awareness. If a person begins to see his image with love and appreciation, he will definitely start loving this stranger who he was himself. A person's inner soul always loves it more than any other person but he often ignores his real self and values the other person more than him. He doesn't appreciate himself just because of his love for the other person, but to live with the new love, for example, love for himself. The person must forget his previous love, which he developed for the other person. The poet also tried to suggest ways for the person to get rid of the love for the other person. It is urged the person to take out all the photographs, love letters that he may have written or which carry the memories of his past love and remove them. By removing these symbols, the poet wants to free the reader from the burden of past relationship. Also, the person should try to invite self-love by capturing his own lost self-image from the mirror. It is a symbolic way to suggest that the person must start thinking well about himself and attain sense of self-respect and love. So the central idea of the poem revolves around a person who disliked himself for a long period of time. The poet has inspired him through his word to accept himself as he is. 
Thank you. Okay, thank you, group two. So group three, please. In the mother, any distance poem written by Amitish, he presents a speaker who is reflecting on the connection he has with his mother from the perspective of child and also growing up. The premise of the poem is relatively simple as the speaker calls on their mother for help <coughs> setting up a home. Spe spe specifically, the speaker needs more hands on deck to help measure the dimensions of different rooms, doors, and also windows, presumably in order to decorate and also furnish the place. Of course, the poem is also a lot more than home improvement. As the speaker and the mother extend the tape, it measure between them, it becomes a metaphor for the enduring strength of the relationship between mothers and children. He contrasts the reliance he feels on his mother in the first stanza to the pressure to explore independence in the second, and then considering whether he can succeed or will fail in the final stanza. Thank you. Okay, thank you, group three. So the last one will be group four. Okay, for our group, uh, our poem is actually Why Do I Love You, Sir? Uh, written by Emily Dickinson. Uh, it's about the love of God, which uh, the poem begins with the speaker stating about that she loves uh, God a lot because it is a natural thing to do. And she state that uh, she is the grass, she is the wind, and he moves her. And there is no way, uh, there's no why or how about it. That's another natural example that works in the same way in the third stanza, uh, which she is the eye that closes when the lightning flashes. And it does not ask the eye where, uh, wherefore or why it closes. And also it knows the eye couldn't answer if it tried. The reason is beyond words. And at last, Dickinson ends the poem by saying that uh, she loves God a lot because he exists. And here is the sunrise she reacts to. That's all for our part. Thank you, Group 4. So I guess this is all the summaries of four poems. So I would like, I would like to ask uh, you guys about the, the poem that you know that you think is the best. So Ayman, can you give us your opinion? Um, I personally will choose a poem uh, related to the mother's love because I think mother's love is unconditional and nothing can replace mother love in this world. So the love is always selfless to all your children and the love will remain the same from the time you were born to this world until the last breath of her, and until the last of her breath. So I think that's just simply I will choose uh, mother's love title poem. Thank you, Ayman. So I think I will share my opinion too. So I will choose the love for God because I think the love for God is the purest, God, purest love ever exists because God requires you nothing, but you can get a lot of from the God, like the relief, calmness. And I think we should all love our God because firstly, God create us so it's like you you can't you can't say you can't say you like you you don't like the, the creator that make, give your life give you a life and define what you should do and second is you know all about us but he's still uh, interested in us instead he should just like leave us away because no all our bad habits but no he just stay so i think these two reason is the most uh i think that's why i choose the love for god is the most important the best poem ever so what do you think what do you guys think about the other uh your two, two, Hi, in my opinion, I would choose Mother Any Distance as a poem for the train motion video. Because this poem is, a, 
it's about the relation between the speaker and his own mother. And it's also about mother-child relationship. And this is a connection as old as humanity itself. The purpose of this poem was to allow audience to relate the poem to their own lives and with their own mothers to and to realize their support and their never learn never ending love for us. That's why I would choose a um, matter any distance for our I, I think Love After Love is a good poem, and the reason I go for it is because it emphasizes the importance of self-love. I think self-love is the best love because it makes you realize that you need to love yourself. When you don't have love for yourself, you will constantly find yourself wanting approval and attention from the others that you just don't need. Besides, when you practice self-love, you, you will embrace your flaws and your weaknesses. You're accepting yourself and those around you, so when you're accepting of yourself, you never have to look for others' approval and you always feel secure with who you are. Uh, in addition, they say that you are the only person that you can count on, and I think that's true, because when you love yourself, you always have someone there to get you through. It's so much easier to survive the low points in life when you are your own hero, and do not have to pay for someone to save you. So uh, that's the reason why I choose for, uh, love after love. Well, okay. Me, uh, okay, you can talk first. Okay, thank you. <laughs> for me, I will choose the third poem that talks about love between mothers and son. I think this poem is well related to ourselves at the current age. In this poem, the poet describes that his mother helps him to decorate his home as he is potentially moving and requires her aid in sorting out the materials that he might need. I believe most of us has gone through this kind of situation when we first moving into our residential college. Besides, the poem metaphor himself as a kite that flies while his mother as an anchor to the kite, which means no matter what happens in the future, he and his mother will always be connected. As what the poets say, the fall and fly in life is inevitable. He realized that when he starts his life, he will either succeed or fail. But he says it without fear as he knows that whatever happened, his mother will welcome him back. I strongly agree with this. I often share my worries with my mother and her words will always comfort me. I really appreciate that she is always there for me. Therefore, I will prefer the third poem since I can relate myself well to the love that the poet described and I will it will be easier to work on a familiar topic. Okay, so I would like to share my opinion. So actually my opinion are uh, same with uh, Tiong Wan. So I will choose the poem is Why Do I Love You Sir? So why I choose this poem? Because the whole central idea of this poem is talking about our uh, faith to the God. So I think uh, people like us should have faith in our life because sometimes when things don't go according to the plan, we will lose faith. Faith. So not only in ourselves, but also in any potential outcome in our life. So when we experience failure, it's easy to lose hope. So faith is deep rooted in the expectation of good things will come. So without faith, we could not expect that things would turn out all right for us, no matter what the situation might be. So faith able to help us to trump stress, anxiety, and fear, and help you to discover your purpose in life. So usually when we're facing difficulty in our life, it gets harder and harder before it gets better. So little by little, a part of us will be broken until one day we dig deep down inside and somehow find the strength we needed to make it through. So that strength actually comes from our faith. So that whether it's your faith in God or in something else, the faith will help you in your life. So no matter how hard your life is, faith is the one that gives you hope and the momentum to continue in your life. So why I choose this poem instead of other four? Because love to God or faith, this kind of topic is less discussed among the people. So I think there is something that we can learn from this poem as well, and realize that faith can also be a pathway to help us to find solution in our life. So everything is far easier to get through when we have faith. Thank you. 
that can be the guiding light that help us uh, to find our purpose in life. Yeah, that's all from me. Sorry, can you hear me? Okay, uh, for me, among the four poems that uh, we present previously, I already transfer to the poem about the mother left to the, her child. This uh, poem, the speaker to narrate the sacrifice of mother to ensure the child is always successful in her life while ensuring that they are born uh, between her mother and his is always preserved and the other is uh, their survival or the other uh, always uh, will preserved. Okay, thank you. Okay, for me, uh, I personally, I will choose mother any distance as my choice of poem. It is because mother love is the greatest love in this world. And because of the mother love, the human society is able to develop until today. And it is like a bond that couldn't be destroyed easily. So I think that um, by choosing this poem, um, we can actually discuss more and talk deeper about the family love, which plays a very important role in our life. And also by emphasizing mother love, we ourselves can actually always remind uh, the society to love their family as much as possible. And I think this is very extremely important as nowadays, um, a lot of people always neglect uh, their family. Uh, they always use busy as an excuse to uh, avoid talking to their family. And that's all for my part. Um, among these four poems, I personally feel that the poem shared by Mini Group 3 titled Mother Any Distance is more appropriate to be chosen for our Poetry in Motion uh, video one. This is because as compared to the other three poems, I believe that mo most of us can relate ourselves more to this poem, which po uh, conveys the love between a mother and a child. To build a home, I think the love between family members is the most elementary component, no matter the distance. The poem delivers the significance of the love of parents in molding the identity, mindset, and the self-worth of a child uh, at one's mother needs. The impact of the affection from parents, especially by the mother, um, can even be seen after the child has grown up. So the poem also tells us about the relationship between a mother and a child is irreplaceable because few understand us like our own flesh and blood. Thus, we should all cherish our family. That is why I chose this poem. Thank you. For me, I will choose When I Die, I Want Your Hands on My Eyes. Because in this poem, the love between the husband and wife for me, it's quite spacious because they do not have the beautiful roses and do, they do not have the romantic words. But the poet is talking about death to his wife. Death is something that we will avoid to talk in front of our beloved families member. And if someone have the courage to talk about death with his wife or her husband, I think it is another type of love. And this love is very deep. And... Um, in this poem, it conveyed that uh, because the husband is loved the, he, uh, his wife very much, so because I love you, so I wish you can with me when I'm on my deathbed. Because I love you, so I hope you, uh, I hope that my death will not slow down your life. And the husband uh, hope that her uh, his wife can still be her without him by her side. So. I think this is a very special way uh, for a husband to convey his love to his uh, to his wife. So this is the reason why I think uh, I will choose uh, this poem compared to the other poem. Okay. Uh, for me, I feel that the the poem that is related to mother's love to 
her son is uh, for our uh, legs for your three emotion video because uh, this motherly love is a love that every one of us here that I believe that I uh, have experienced before even if uh, it was a long time ago but I'm pretty sure that everyone has experienced before so it's easier for us to convey the message through a video where we need to act and we need to prepare those uh, props and all to show out the meaning of this poem so I personally feel that it will be easier for us to do it if if the theme is a mother's love. So that's my opinion. Okay, in my opinion, I think the poem presented by Mini Group 3, which is Mother Any Distance, is more suitable to be used in Poetry Emotion Video 1 because it is closely related to our life. Throughout the poem, the speaker used measuring tape that extends between the mother and him as they measure the house to signify their enduring strength of the relationship. The measuring tape that unfurls between the speaker and mothers is referring to the umbilical cord, which is the original connection between them. The mother and speaker will always be linked together even after the speakers move out from the family home. The unfurled measuring tape is also referring to the string that connects a kite to its anchor. The speaker is like the kite and the mother is like the anchor. The speaker is exploring the world without any worries because he knows that his mother is back on the ground, holding the other end of the string. The speaker's mother is like a constant presence, offering comfort and security even as the speaker wanders far from home. The mother's love and support have also granted the speaker the confidence to try to stand on his own. From this poem, we can see the importance of the mother to their child when they become an adult and move out of the family home and mother is crucial in keeping them grounded and not getting lost in the wider world. We can see that mother's significance in one's life. So I think this poem is better. That's all. I guess everyone has shared their own opinions. And I believe that the poem tree, which, which is mother and the distant, has gained the most, the majority support. So, I will just assume that the poem three will be the best poem for our session. Do you guys agree? Yeah. So, okay. Thank you. So I think that's it for our discussion. Thank you guys for participating. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you guys.